After looking at the whole respiration uh, biochemical process, we need to consider actually how many ATP is being produced from one glucose molecule. So what we need to do here is to look back at the three different processes and consider what's being made. So let's start with glycolysis, which is the first stage there. Now in glycolysis, yes, we have made two pyruvate, which then goes on to continue with the cycle. And we also had a net a gain of 2 ATP there, so we can already include that. Now apart from the 2 ATP, we also made 2 reduced NAD, and we'll come back to that later on. The next stage is link reaction, in which we made 1 carbon dioxide, which is released and breathed out. Uh, we also made 1 reduced NAD there. The third one, which is the Krebs cycle, this is the bit where we really made lots and lots of reduced uh, coenzymes. So we have made one ATP, two carbon dioxide molecules, and also a couple of reduced NAD and FAD. So we've made three reduced NAD, as well as one reduced FAD. Then oxidative phosphorylation is where we look at everything here and then just decide how many ATP can be made in this case. Thinking back, we mentioned before that the different coenzymes can make different numbers of ATP. So we say that one reduced NAD can make three ATP, whereas one reduced FAD can make two. So all we need to do now is to just review all of, it, all of this stuff and just decide how many is being made. So from two reduced NAD, each of them make three ATP, so here we can get six ATP made. And in total, we have made 8 ATP. In link, we made 1 reduced NAD, and therefore we can make 3 ATP from that. But keeping in mind that, uh, like this bit here, we're considering 1 pyruvate only, whereas in glycolysis, we've made 2 pyruvate, and they both go into link and Krebs cycle. Meaning, from just one glucose molecule, in this case, we have made 2 reduced NAD, meaning we have made 6 ATP. So keeping in mind that, we need to double everything up in this reaction here. And here, reduced NAD, again, we made, for each of them make three, so we make nine ATP. And from one reduced FAD, we make two. From one pyruvate molecule, which enters this uh, reaction here, we've made uh, 12 ATP from Krebs, but because we're doubling up, so we made only four ATP in total. And so counting all of this up, 24 plus 6 plus 8, from one glucose molecule, we have made 38 ATP, and this is our net gain. We've already considered that we've lost two in the beginning. And even if in the exam you find it difficult to remember a single, let's say 38 ATP, then uh, just be clear on how the processes work and just work your way through. So just a very quick overview, always always remember glycolysis is one glucose breaking down into two pyruvate when each of them goes into these two reactions, so therefore we have doubled up them by two.